handcuffed and also given hope. A local woman says the time she spent behind bars was the best thing that could have happened to her. 23 ABC's Veronica Acosta was there as she got to thank the Kern County Sheriff's deputy for locking her up, Veronica. Today, a woman seeing the deputy who put her in jail for the first time in years after turning her life around. Hi. How are you? I'm so good. Do you remember me? Yes, I do. You do? Yeah. A thank you years in the making. I just want to thank you so much. You're welcome. For all the rough, the tough words. A life in trouble turned around with handcuffs, a jail cell, and a Kern County Sheriff's deputy. He told me. Do not laugh with me. Do not say anything. He goes, I am not your friend, Anna. We are not friends. I am not here to be friends with you. But I always remember those words. You do get out. He said, look over your shoulder because I'm right there. Eight years later, Anna no longer the same woman she used to be. I have to do the drugs. Don't you understand? I can't get up without it. Crediting the change in her life in part to the person who put her behind bars. Throughout my career, I've tried to make statements that stick with people. In Anna's case, the statements that created change. I'm very proud of her because not everybody can do what she's done. She's the true hero here. From a dope dealer to a hope dealer. And after turning away from drugs, Anna asking one thing from the deputy who helped her find her way out. You said, don't talk to me. I'm not your friend. I want to be friends now. I'd like that. Anna and Deputy Puga plan on flourishing their friendship by visiting the Jamison Children's Center together to help kids whose lives may be impacted by drug abuse. In studio, Veronica Costa, 23 ABC. Great story, Veronica. Thanks for that. Coming